Hey guys, this is Dr. Singh. Those of you guys don't know me, I am a general and hepatability surgeon in Winston-Salem, North Carolina, the United States. In this time where we have a pandemic for coronavirus or COVID-19, there's a lot of issues about talking to wash hands, properly wash hands. Um, you would be surprised to know that only uh, five percent of the total population wash hand properly recommended by the CDC or Center for Disease Controls in the United States. The average time for people to wash hands is about six seconds, which is much less than recommended time for about 20 seconds. So I have been doing this for 20 plus years. I've been surgeon for almost 20 years and uh, I've been scrubbing my hands for 25 some years. The most integrated and in important part for our training is to learn how to wash hands before the surgery so we don't transmit the disease or contaminate the field and all this stuff though we do use gloves but still we are required to wash hands properly so i can say i've been washing my hands you know for so many years um, to do the surgery so i can talk something about um, the washing hands so today we're gonna watch uh, videos to see how my hands look like before washing under the black light and how to properly wash the hands. So right now I have put some marker dots on my hands. If you look my hands, you can barely see those pink marks. Um, these are fluorescent markers. And um, just to show you on my hand all the way around, what does it look like? So now we're gonna take my hands under the black light to so see what actually look like under the black light. Then we're gonna wash hands for the six second time. And then we're gonna look again under the black light. And then we're gonna wash hand for 20 minutes. I'm sorry, the 20 seconds. And then we're gonna put another lotion um, uh, mixed with the betadine or povidin iodine that makes hands uh, brown. To explain it in detail, how to wash hand properly, not only in this time when there's a pandemic, but regularly and every single day so we don't acquire any disease and we don't transmit the disease as a healthcare professional i am on the both side of the fence that we had to take care of the patient but i do have the family and i'm a human person so i have to make sure that i do not catch the coronavirus or any other communicable disease and other side if i'm infected i don't transmit it to my family or my patients so let's go look what it looks like and then we'll come back and talk so guys again. here we are in one of my exam room and see how my hand looks in a regular fluorescent led light in the room but let's just turn the light on on the black light and just turn off this light to see how much difference does it make so when I turn on this light under the ultraviolet light, that's how my hands look like. So these are millions and millions of bacteria on my hand, which I have marked as a, um, a fluorescent marker. So that's how what you can look like, uh, how my hands look like under the under the blue light or black light or uh, ultraviolet light. Um, we're going to go wash our hands for six seconds and then we're going to come back and see how much we have washed off and then uh, we'll go back and do it again. So guys, here we are in my uh, bathroom in the office. So the sink is a regular size sink, which is usually people have at home. Um, so I didn't want to use a bigger sink. I have to turn the main light off because uh, uh, it is connected to the fan, so it will um, make too much noise. You won't, may not be able to hear me. So we're gonna wash the hand for six seconds and we're gonna see um, how it looks like under the black light. So here are my hands, that's what it looks like. And then we're gonna turn the water on and then we're gonna wash the hand for six seconds like uh, usually um, the people do. The men are worse than women in the studies. Um, after going to the bathroom, 15% of the men did not wash their hand and 7% of women did not wash their hands. So let's start and do it for average six, um, six minutes of the time. Sorry, the six seconds of times and we'll go from there. Now um, my hands are dried. We're gonna go back and look under the black light. Yeah, but, to see uh, what back looks like. in my exam room and under the black light. Let's see how much we have done in six seconds. What does it look like? So nothing. 
the bacteria are still there. All the markers which I had put on my hand, fluorescent marker, is still there. Just very little is gone. Uh, very few of them are gone, especially on the fingers. But most of my palms, my wrist, the back of my hand um, is still back So this there. is what it looks so, like if you don't wash your hands for minimum recommended 20 seconds or more of the time. So let's go wash our hand again. And then I will show you with a better diner how we are supposed to wash our hands. Hey guys, so we are here back in my bathroom and uh, now I'm going to try to show you how to wash your hands properly just um, to, to prevent the communication of the diseases and especially during coronavirus or any other uh, infectious disease uh, management. So I got this over here is a betadine, it's a brown colored solution that stains your hand. Um, so it will um, explain you what part of your hand you need to cover and how to wash your hands. So first of all, you gotta wash your hands and make them wet so the soap can get on it. After that, we'll take the soap in our hand. Uh, I gotta be careful because if it goes on the clothes, it's very hard to come off. So we're gonna put this on our hand. It's a little watery than regular soap. And then first you gotta rub it in your hand. If you see my hand, they're all brown over here. But if you look behind, they're not. So first you gotta rub your hand up in the front to make sure your hands are completely soaked with the soap. Then you gotta wash your hands in the back. And then if you see in between the fingers, there's still not soap in there. So you gotta put your fingers in between and wash your fingers between your thumbs over here and take your wrist because the wrist is still not covered. So take your wrist and wash your hands with the wrist over here, up to here. And then you go back, make sure your fingers are washed completely. We are not doing a surgical scrub over here. So you don't have to do what we do in the operating room before the surgery. You wash your hand in the front, leather it, wash it in the back, in between the fingers, behind, and make sure you wash. And in the nails, you take off those things and wash your hands all the way around. So you gotta do it at least for 20 seconds or more to remove most of the contaminant for an ordinary life. And after you're done, here we go. The important part after washing hand is not to touch the faucet. So you take a paper towel and you turn it off with a paper towel and toss it. So we are back in the exam room to see what my hands look like. So just by closely looking at my hands, all the marker mark have gone and I don't see anything on there. So I'm going to turn off this light and uh, keep this black light on to see what it looks like. So on uh, simply just looking at it, I don't see any markers over here. There's a couple of faint spot, but you have to realize that uh, uh, the bacteria or virus don't stick to your fingers. They don't stain your fingers. They, they're just uh, sitting on your um, hands and fingers. They will come off when you aggressively wash them. But my hands, after washing for about 20, 25 seconds, look like they're pretty clean. I don't see any fluorescent marking anymore anywhere besides a couple of faint spots in there. So guys, this is how you wash your hands. So this is a little video so we can save uh, other people's lives, our lives, and uh, uh, to stop transmitting a disease. The coronavirus right now, we don't have any vaccination, any treatment. So it's very difficult to manage. Uh, so far, over 4,000 deaths only in New York. So we have to be very careful. We are reaching close to 10,000 deaths in the United States and it's spreading very fast all over the country, across all the state lines. So if you have any questions or concerns, shoot me a message and I'll be happy to answer all those things. You take care and you be safe.